Welcome to another episode of Die Project Tinker Cast Code Blocks 3D Tutorial. So today we are going to make a Rubik's Cube in our Tinker CAD environment. So for a cube, I am renaming my project as Cube. I am going to create one new object. So after that, I am going to shapes. We are going to use a lot of box. My first box will be 50 cross 50 cross 50. From modification, I am going to mode and z axis by 32 units. After this, I am going to use two count loops so the increment value will be minus 1 2 plus 1 and it is incremented by 1 for the next loop inside the first loop it will be 1 2 3 the thing is we are yeah. This is our cube. We're going to place our color blocks over the cube. So let's recolor this block. Let it be black. Now I'm going to shapes. Taking a box. Setting the size to 15 cross 15 cross 15. Since it is a cube, the measurements are too easy. Mm, the color will be red and go to modifications take the move go to math here I am going to use multiplication operation um, I am going to use it in x axis and y axis so if one box is forming here, next box will be formed here, here, here. Then my z value is incremented to above the previous block, then it is formed like this. So I am going to use multiplication operation in this. I am going to multiply 17 with my i value and 16 with my j value. So, height will be controlled by the inner loop and uh, steps will be controlled by the outer loop. Let's see what we have created. We forgot to set the y axis so the box is forming inside the box. So, I have created the box of size 50. I need to move it in y axis. If I move it in positive y axis, it will be on back side. So, first I move it in uh, positive y axis 20. Let's go to the back side and see. Our box are getting built perfectly positioned 9 boxes of red. So, we are going to repeat this until we get a Rubik's cube. I am going to duplicate this. Everything will be the same. We are just going to change the color and the coordinates. So the next color will be green. For green, I can easily put minus 20. Let's see. My red color is printing here. My green is forming here. Now I am going to Duplicate this. Here, my y is constant and x is varying for my next two sides for left and right. Left and right, it will be x and y axis. So, I'm just going to take this, put it in y axis, set the x to plus 20, it will form in the right side. Now I need to change my color. I am setting my color to yellow. My 
my red blocks are formed, my green blocks are forming. Then it's time for yellow blocks. It's done. So I'm going to repeat this one more time for the left hand side. Duplicate the block. Change the color. On uh, this side it will be white. X axis will be minus 20. For top and bottom, X and Y will be changed. So I'm going to use like this. So in this, the Z axis will be mm, somewhat around the 25, maybe. The color will be blue. The number of rupees here will be minus 1, 2, 1. It's because we are not changing the height. We will be changing only the X and Y. So we are starting from the coordinate minus one comma minus one till plus one comma plus one. So let's see how it is created. The height is not enough, the total height of the cube is 15 and uh, it is also moved a little bit above the plane so I need to put around uh, 55 like the same I have to create one more box in this the Z will be around uh, you can put around 10 maybe let's see I think we can reduce the height. Here we can increase the height. So here I will be putting 14. I think we take it inside the block. Here I can put like uh, 15, 1. So after doing this, I'm going to create a whole group out of it. It's done. Mm, I'm going to use the rotate here. I'm going to rotate it in X and Y axis. In x axis, I am rotating it by somewhat uh, 20 degrees. In y axis, I will be rotating it by um, 25 degrees. So, my cube is created finally, I think. My red box are forming, followed by green box. Next, it will be in x axis, yellow box. Then my blue box. At the bottom, I forgot to change the color. It will be orange. Okay, my orange box is coming. So this is my Rubik's cube.
If you like the video, press the like button. Put your feedback in the comment box. Share the video. Let's see you in next video.